on the 17th of September, uh, just gone, with the second anniversary or seventh tier, which when I think about is mad, it's so crazy. I can remember waiting for the first batch of seventh tier gear. That was a staple tease with my guy Josh True. If you're watching this man, I hope you're doing well. But yeah, we were in my living room. Uh, we were watching the Travis Scott documentary actually on Netflix and we were so excited. Overall, looking back on the beginning of the brand, there's so many points where I'm so proud of um, and um, I really think, you know, I've done a lot. But, you know, it hasn't been all sunshines and rainbows though. It hasn't been all sunshines and rainbows. You know, there's been a lot of struggles and sometimes I think to myself, is it really all worth it? For me personally, looking back on 2021, um, it's been the hardest year, no doubt. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I was literally searching for any job. Uh, my finances were literally in a muck. Uh, I was on a college course that I, I'm not going to lie, I didn't rate, you know. Shout out Sam, shout out Torbin, but, you know, I was really struggling with the course. And um, I, was, I was struggling to be consistent with this, you know. I was really struggling to be consistent with seventh tier. You know, I think these are things we all go through as creators. We, we have our ups and downs. Um, but, you know, there's been three things that I've learned this year that have kept me motivated and have really made ups and downs worthwhile. You know, recently I realised that this game takes a long time and I think as creatives, just as people, we want to progress quickly, we want everything to be quick, we want it to be done fast, but you know, you have to really trust a process. You have to realise that, you know, doing videography, doing music takes a long time. And I think once you realise that it actually takes time, it's not going to come, you know, in a couple of weeks, months, or maybe in a couple of years, I think it becomes a lot easier to keep on going. You know, recently I've been on social media a lot and I think there's something so great about social media so many people are meant to make you know so many people have made so many great connections but i think it can be so demoralizing as a creative when you go on there and you compare yourself to people you know when you go on there and you think oh this person is doing better than me you know and they've only started like a week ago they've had like five thousand views or something and they've only just started and i feel like being a creative comparing yourself to people is dangerous i really do think it's a dangerous thing to you know, look at someone else and think, why am I not there? Because I think it can kill the motivation. And one thing for me that's helped uh, not do that is just getting rid of social media completely. You know, getting rid of social media, although it's great, I love social media, I love seeing what my friends are doing. Um, it's been a real benefit. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm on social media now, but there are some days where I'll just in uninstall Instagram, I'll uninstall Twitter, I'll, I'll uninstall everything. And, and for me personally, not only does it help my focus, I realise that obviously when I'm not looking on my phone like every two seconds, um, I get a lot more work done. But I feel like there's a weight off my shoulders, like I'm not having to look at anyone else and be like, you know, why am I not there? You know, why am I not doing what they're doing? You know, and um, I don't know, it's definitely helped me and I feel like it can help a lot of other people as well, getting rid of like Instagram, just maybe try it for a day and, and see what happens, but it definitely helps me. At the end of the day, right, you know, it sounds so cliche, but you've got to keep on moving forward. Like, you will get where you need to go if you don't stop. It may take a couple of years, but if you just keep on, you know, as they say, throwing shit at the rule, right? Hope you don't do that literally, that's a bit gross. But if you keep on doing that, you will get where you need to go. Like, there's so many people who have, who have, you know, started out with nothing and they've managed to get to where they need to go as a creative. And I feel like, you know, if you keep on doing what you're doing, you know, you have the determination and you don't look at numbers as well. Fuck the numbers, man. Like, this is what I'm talking, Instagram and social media, I think it's dangerous because you look at numbers and, you, and then you compare your numbers to other people. But if you forget that, you know, go in airplane mode, you know, get rid of your phone and just focus on your craft, you will make progress and you will get to your goals. Like, that's just a fact. So, um, yeah, slow progress is better than no progress. You know, at the end of the day, right, I feel like the creative watching this, you know, if you are, we don't have a lot of subs, <laughs> don't gonna lie. But, um, you know, you get a couple of views, but, you know, I don't give a fuck. Um, I feel like that creative watching this who doesn't give up, 
you know, whether they do music, video, you know, creation, uh, then actor. I feel like if that creative watching this, who doesn't give up, who doesn't listen to the haters, who doesn't look at the numbers, and who realizes that it's gonna take a lot of fucking time, I feel like that creative there will rise to the top. And I feel like looking back on the year and um, really listening to what I've said, I do feel like it's all worth it.